As we teased before the break, the Lake Sunapee Young Professionals Network had their monthly event last week at the Flying Goose Restaurant Brew Pub in New London. Now the first part of the event was a meet and greet and then the young professionals were lucky enough to take a tour of the brewery with the Flying Goose's own brewmaster, Rick Marley. Hey, let's take a peek. So today we're at the Flying Goose. We chose um, this place because it's such a staple in, in town. A lot of young people come here um, and everyone knows where it is, what they do. And we decided to attach the brewery tour to it to have something just a little bit different than all the other events we've had. We've done, you know, networking, we've had a speaker, we've done um, just happy hours. So this added something a little bit different to uh, the normal events. And I think it'll go over really well. Um, you know, people love uh, beer. They love the area, so it'll really give an, uh, an insight onto how this operation works, plus how another job um, out there, you know, takes place on a daily basis. So that's why we chose the Flying Goose Day. They're always so sweet to host us and support um, young people in this organization and, and so many businesses locally. Today, the Lake Sunapee Young Professionals took a tour of the Flying Goose Brew Pub. This is our brewery. We showed them the mash. We're actually just finishing a batch of honey ale. This is uh, spent grain that we're gonna feed to, a, we're gonna give to a farmer. This is the mash tun. We showed him the kettle. The kettle's where we do our boil. We add hops in the kettle. It's pretty hot in there. It's boiling right now as we speak. It's very hot though. Um, we're brewing honey out, so I've got some honey warming up on top of the kettle. We gave them a tour of that as well. Um, we showed them the whirlpool, the whirlpool right here, where we um, separate solids and biomass from the, uh, from the post-boiled wort, and wort is what we call the sugar water that runs off of the mash tun from the grain. Um, post-boiled, settles out in the whirlpool here. We showed them around the brewery over here. We showed them the heat exchange. This is where we chill our uh, post-boiled wort. So we sampled a couple beers as well, but we tried uh, Hefeweizen. It's a Bavarian-style wheat. Um, it's very floral, fragrant, it's got some banana esters uh, that are produced during fermentation. This yeast produces a lot of these esters, uh, uh, clove, bubblegum, spice. We also tried this. This is Camp Crystal Lake Pale Ale, coming soon to a draft line near you. Um, it's a nice hoppy, light colored uh, pale ale um, that I brewed on Friday the 13th, hence the name, Camp Crystal Lake. Uh, these are some different fermenters we've got. Um, this is fermentation taking place right here. This is Long Brothers, our best-selling beer. The Lake Sunapee Young Professionals. What more can be said about them? I mean, they're really a spectacular group of people. And we ask anyone that's interested in being a business sponsor to please reach out to us. You can email us at lsypn2016 at gmail.com. Now, if you haven't attended a Lake Sunapee Young Professionals event yet, you can check out their Facebook page. It's simple. Just type in Lake Sunapee Young Professionals Network into the search bar. Their events are always fun, while at the same time, professionals can meet new people and expand your networks. We suggest you check them out if you live in the Lake Sunapee region and if you're a young professional yourself. 